It is not often that I go an hour without contemplating my place in this universe. Now, whether that's due more to textbooks or spiritual works remains to be seen, but the fact of the matter is, we are all part of something wondrous. Like an ebullient child, I have run through the wild of the great north, and I have camped beneath the awe-inspiring night sky, gazing upon the billions of dancing diamonds and dust lanes that accentuate our home. You must realize that everything that you see, hear, taste, touch, feel, and experience was created in countless fires burning in the heavens, and that your very state of being and belief in your notions rely on billions of years of complications and supernova explosions. You are the living memory of the universe, and so when you gaze upon it with appreciative eyes, realize that you are that, and that is we, and we can finally see that nothing is different. Life comes from death, and so we must one day give back what we have briefly borrowed, and soon the wind will kiss the sand and erase the footprints that we so triumphantly strode while we walked this earthly plane. But we have our speech, and we have our passion, and as we are dashing towards the ever-approaching finish line, we can call out in hopes that we will be heard, so I will forge my words in the furnaces of dimly lit rooms and desultory philippics, and I will cool them with the waters of knowledge and wisdom, so that I may one day speak what I believe to be truth. Life is full of broken pacts and heart attacks, gun racks and kind acts, knickknacks and crazy facts, and what comes after is fascinating. And to know one day will be amazing, but at right this moment, <laughs> I'm just fine waiting. You see, your brain is made of protons and neutrons and electrons, and so it seems to me that consciousness itself dictates that the whole can be greater than the sum of its parts. Now, when I'm in the mindset to start to tear apart the fabric of space and time, I keep in mind these three things. One, ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. The Bible. Two, the Lord is hidden within the hearts of all, the eternal witness, pure consciousness. We are washed from within, for the Lord brought forth the cosmos out of himself, or herself, the Upanishads. And three, so it is to the theories of particle physics that we turn with some measure of confidence in hopes that we may glimpse the engines of creation. An Introduction to Modern Astrophysics, second edition by Carolyn Osley. So when you delve into the depths of your mind, don't be surprised to find that if you lack the time to distinguish between dissertations and sermons, perhaps the ideologies of the priest and the scientist are not that different after all.